In this video, I will show you how to create a smooth zoom in and zoom out effect using Filmora. So let's get started. To create this effect, I have already imported a stroke video into Filmora. I have also shared the link of this stroke video in the description. So I will start by dragging this video on the timeline. Now I will move my playhead to the point where I want the zoom in effect to start. At that point, I will double click on the video clip and here I will add a transform keyframe. Then I will move my playhead to the point where I want the zoom in effect to end. At that point, I will increase the value of scale to create the zoom in effect. If you like, you can also change the position value to make sure that your subject is fitting into the frame perfectly. And you will notice here that a second keyframe has been automatically added. This first two keyframes have created a zoom in effect. Now we want to create the zoom out effect. So for that I will move my playhead to the point where I want the zoom out effect to start. At that point I will simply add a keyframe for the transform and then I will move my playhead to the point where I want the zoom out effect to end. At that point I will simply reset the transform values and this will create a zoom out effect. You will notice that a fourth keyframe has been automatically added. Right now our zoom in zoom out effect will look something like this. Firstly zoom in and then zoom out. But we can make this effect look much smoother by using the newly introduced keyframe panel in Filmora 13. So for that I will click on this keyframe panel option here. And here you will see 4 keyframes in each row. You might see 3 in some rows because in that row we have not used all the parameters. So now to create the smooth effect I will firstly select the 2 keyframes from each row. And then I will simply click on this ease in curve and this will smoothen the zoom in effect. Then I will select the third and the fourth keyframe from each row and now I will click on this extension button here to see the other curve options and this time I will choose the ease out curve and this will smoothen out the zoom out effect. So I will click on ok and our final video is ready. Let's see how it looks like. So that's it for this video. If you find it useful do hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos. And if you have any tutorial requests, please leave them in the comment section. I will try my best to make those videos for you. Thank you so much.